Hello? Oh my goodness! Do you guys know how amazing it is? There's no horses in here. Oh, the barn's empty! This is so nice! Well, I shouldn't say empty, actually. We still have Buster and Rocky. Hey, guys. And today's gonna be an excellent day for them. Because today, they finally get to go out. These guys have been locked inside since Tuesday, same as the rest of the horses. But they didn't get to go out last night because we don't let them out at night. So they get to go out today. So they've been in from Tuesday to Saturday. I'm actually curious to see if the horses come in or if they're like, no, 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 uh-uh. No way I'm coming in that barn. I'll be stuck in there. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, we have grain and hay done. Donkeys have eaten, everything's set up for them to come in. Let's see who's waiting to come in and let's see who is as far from the barn as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about what I figured. You could see our, uh, our manure path shining through here. So there was a good six to eight inches of ice all around everywhere. And when it comes to our horses, we can very clearly see not one of them is up here to come into the barn. Not one of them. So let's see if they actually come in when I yell for them. What do you guys think? Let's kick things off with Poncho, and I know Poncho is gonna be a good boy and come in. He normally goes in the right run, but the right run is still extremely icy, so we have him in the left run. A couple of you have asked, why is Poncho in his own pasture at night and not turned out with the rest of the horses? And that is a fantastic question, and here's your answer. Uh, Poncho's owner, for the time being, would like him to be kept in this small pasture at night then with the rest of the horses. These pastures are mainly used for rehabilitation and for when we have new horses that have come to the stable to warm them to the rest of the horses. Since they're not really being used, we were happy to be able to offer her that luxury of being able to keep Poncho in. As I mentioned before, keeping our clients happy is extremely important for us staying in business. We do what we can to make our clients happy. And it looks like we went right from ice everywhere to mud everywhere. What are you gonna do? You just can't win. So off Poncho goes. I just need to show this once more. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, do you see that? Boom. I am not gonna be taking for granted those snaps opening and closing. No sir, no siree. They're a little apprehensive about coming back into the barn. We're just gonna bring them in, do a nice check on them, make sure that they're healthy and good, and then we're letting them right back out. And boy, does that feel good to say. I also noticed a couple of you have mentioned that when the horses are coming in, um, you would like to know more than just the name. You'd like to know their age and their breed. That's a fantastic idea. The only problem is I don't know all of that information off the top of my head. I know some of it, but not all of it. So expect that to be something that's coming in the future videos. For today, I'm gonna be just giving you their names. I'm sorry, I just don't know their breeds off the top of my head, and I don't wanna give you guys the wrong information. Looks like first up in the middle pasture is Rebel. Yeah, what's up, buddy? And Falcon, and we got Champ, and Casino, with that one blue eye. Yeah, you heard me talking about you, didn't you, buddy? And then we got Jack, who is refusing to come in, and Poe, which is who is making his way up. So let's go close their doors, and uh, by that time we're done with the doors, Poe should be here. I have a feeling Jack won't be in until I even let the next herd in. We'll see. Alrighty, all horses are in with the exception of Jack. So we're going to close this door. That way the next herd that we let in won't get confused, and then make a right, go right through, and then go out this way. And we're going to go let in our big herd next. Oh, I'm so excited to see all the horses waiting for me on the other side of this door. Yeah, who was I kidding? Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Let's go! Time to eat! <laughs> they really don't want to come in. I'm going to be hollering for them for a little bit here. It's looking like we have two groups. We have one main group that's down by the round bale feeders. They are all clustered together and staying together. And then we have another group right up here that's making their way up to the stable. They're a little apprehensive because they're a smaller group. And that is Obi, Duke, and our mystery horse. He hasn't gotten close enough yet for you guys to get a good look at him, but he is going to be our mystery horse for the day. I'm going to have to yell a little bit because they're, they're now wondering, who am I talking to? <laughs> now, we do have a little bit of ice that's still on the hill. Uh, this is very dangerous right here, uh, but they can make it right up along the fence line. No issues. If they decide to start coming this way, I'm going to make my way down there 
and kind of push them over towards the fence line as they come up. Okay, they have made it. We have Duke in the lead. He's going to be leading them up, uh, followed closely behind by Obi. And then we have our mystery horse in the back. Obi and our mystery horse are going up the manure path. Good stuff. Good boys, good boys. Nice stuff, guys. Nice stuff. And this is our mystery horse here. Do you guys know who he is? I'll give you a closer look later on, no worries. Now that these guys down here have seen those three successfully make it up here, we have Tucker and Weather. I don't know if you guys can see them. Uh, they're actually moving together, which is pretty neat to see. <laughs> okay, so it's a good thing they know who they are because uh, I totally thought this was Weather. <laughs> and it's not, that's Tucker. Ah. So for a mental note, weather has a longer tail. That's how you can tell for now. And weather is a darker black. Tucker is a lighter shade of black and he has a shorter tail. Unless they totally 180 on me and they're doing a pull in a parent trap where they have one in one stall and one in the other. And I honestly wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> but I don't think they're doing that. Well, I'm gonna have to go and get them. Now the goal here is not for me to chase them up the pasture with the four-wheeler, but to give them a nudge to leave the round bale feeder and begin the walk to the stable. I don't want them to run. So that's a tricky line depending on how stubborn they are. Hey boys, come on boys, you gotta go. You got places to be, things to do. Come on, let's go. That's it, let's go. No running, no running. Okay, that's the only nudge I needed to give them right there. So we're just gonna let them go. But I'm just gonna stay down here and wait so they don't feel the need to, to run. Sometimes that's what we have to do to come down in case you were wondering. 90% uh, of the time, they're up waiting for us at the door. Uh, and that's super on ice because we open the door, they come in, they go right to their stalls. And we really like that system. But sometimes they don't wanna leave. So now that they're all in the barn, I'm gonna head on up and close some stall doors. I also just wanted to remind everybody that Jack is still out here. <laughs> I don't believe I will need to get Jack. Jack is now by himself, and so he will get scared, and he will make his way up and then wait at the door for me to let him in. All right, we'll park the quad here, and let's grab each horse, and we're just going to lead them to their stall. What do we got? Spitfire? You're good. Hey, Declan. Hey, Declan. I got you, buddy. Come here. Come on. Here. Yep, yep, that's where they go. They get themselves all in a tizzy and they go to eat all over the place. And look who's here waiting to come in. You may enter, Jack. <laughs> all right, now that all your older brothers are in, are you guys ready to go out? Yeah? All right, let's get their pasture set up. This pasture has melted off a lot since last night. Thankfully, it was above freezing all night. Still icy, still don't think a horse should be in here just because of this hill, but the donkeys are a lot smaller, so their issues are a lot less worrisome if they were to slip. We don't want them to slip, but they pretty much spend most of their time in here. So we're gonna set their hay here. I'm gonna open that door so they'll have some sunlight, and then we'll get them a bucket of water. Here's another look at our mystery horse. Who's this guy? Do you guys know his name? He's not covering his name as well as Poe did. You've seen him in a couple of videos, you can always tell by that beautiful star on his forehead, those cute eyes. I'm only giving you guys one guess for his name. Just one. Now, during the day, the left run is actually used by Tucker. And a lot of you have asked, why is Tucker and Poncho kept in? Well, for pretty much the same reasons that Poncho's kept in, but it's reversed. Uh, Tucker's owner likes to come during the day and it's hard for him to get out into our 60 acre pasture 55 acre pasture to go get his horse So being that this pasture that we made is not used during the day We put Tucker in here so that allows his owner easy access to his horse There we go. Give him some sunlight Perfect and now let's let the donkeys out <laughs> you happy to be out, buddy? 
get some sunshine and enjoy the time. Horses are extra impatient today. I can hear them banging on their stall doors already because they do not like the idea of staying in. So I'm gonna get moving, get Tucker's pasture taken care of so I can get these guys let out. Now those round bell feeders down there, I don't know if you guys noticed while I was trying to get the horses to come in, they're, they're in need of a cleaning. As the ice is melting, it's peeled back and allowed some layers of manure to come up through. And I want to go down there and clean that uh, with the tractor. But because we have cold temperatures coming in, my strategy here is that cleaning that may actually be worse for the horses because it's actually really good footing. I better hurry this up. It's actually really good footing for them because it's not ice. Underneath that manure is ice. Being that it's gonna get cold, that manure will freeze and it will give them a solid ground and footing during this cold spell. And then once it thaws out, then I could go in with the tractor, scoop all of that up and get rid of it. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's let these beautiful boys out. There you go. Your time's coming, Declan. Your time's coming. You're free to go. There you go, buddy. Declan, Gavin. There you go, buddy. This is a welcome relief to every single one of them. I'm pretty sure they were worried they were gonna be stuck. And as they get fed and turned in and turned out, they will slowly get more comfortable coming back up to the barn. And then eventually it'll almost be like that never happened and things will be right back to where they're supposed to be. At least that's the plan. Hey, Poncho, I got a question. Do you think they remembered to like the video yet? He thinks so. There you go, buddy. We still have to clean the stalls up from them being kept in during the day on Friday. We were just so beat Friday night and so happy that they were able to get turned out uh, that uh, we just called it and we're gonna clean the stalls here in a bit. As always in the horse business, there's always more manure. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do 100% plan on filming the stable life side of spreading all of that manure. So that'll be definitely interesting. So don't forget to subscribe because that'll definitely be coming later on this spring. You think I'm gonna confuse them thinking that it's spring when it's actually February and we're still in winter? Yeah, I thought so too. Just, just wanted to make sure, just wanted to make sure. Hey, do you know how many people guessed your name? I don't either, cause it's still being filmed, but I'm curious. Let's see. Go enjoy the sun. It's gonna be sunny and beautiful today. Look at that tail. Man, does that thing flow. What do you think Argento? Are you jealous of his tail? You could be honest. I know you are. Well. Yeah, it doesn't flow as good as Skywalker's. It just doesn't. Hey, Obi. There you go, buddy. And that's how you know he's my horse. He doesn't even care about his tail. <laughs> go ahead, fire. Well, guys, this has definitely been a week for the record books. I certainly hope we don't ever have to repeat this again, but who knows? It's going to be on that note that we're going to be drawing an end of the video for today. Don't forget to like and I hope that I was able to earn your subscription throughout this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I genuinely appreciate you viewing and your helpful comments. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.